Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very chilled little video on how I style my hair. I've had heaps and heaps of requests on how I do this kind of vintage style with my short hair ever since I cut my hair off. This is probably my favorite way to wear my hair. It's super fun. The reason I like doing this hair is I love a good vintage hairstyle, but I do this for like day one and then once I've slept on my hair overnight, day two hair is a lot more relaxed and kind of modern and choppy it's way it's way less sort of intensely curled like this so it's kind of fun because I get a bit of variety if you end up enjoying this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me and make sure you subscribe as well for three uploads a week I'd love to see you around here so without further ado let's get into the tutorial on how I do my vintage curled bob So this is what my hair looks like when it's partially air dried. I let it get to about this stage while I put on my face in the morning. Um, and then I go in with some heat protectant spray. The one I've got at the moment is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Heat Defense Protecting Spray. Um, and I just put this through my hair before I finish blow drying it. Let's get started. So as you can see that has created a lot of volume. Then I'm going to do my curls with my GHD. This is a platinum styler. It's like the pretty one with the lovely pattern on it. And then I'm going to sort of give myself a bit of a exaggerated side part. Because uh, that's where my hair naturally falls slightly off center but it's not like a real side part. So I just sort of pull that over so it's like a definite side part. Then I'm just going to split my hair in half at the back and just clip this one side over here just to keep that out of the way and then clip up the top half of my hair over here. Then I just take small little sections with my straightener and I just kind of clamp it and twirl it. You can see that's giving me a little, a little girl. I'm curling my hair towards my face for this because it's more vintage curls. If you wanted a little bit more sort of modern uh, or looser sort of curls, less structured, you could alternate the direction or do it more like facing away from your face. So you clamp the hair and then twist the straightener towards your face. Hello. For these kind of underneathy sections that are just like too short to curl, I just typically kind of go in with my straightener vertically and just sort of give them a bit of a, a little loopy thing. And that just kind of makes it look like they're sort of curling with the rest of your hair, but uh, it's just you can't do like a proper curl with them because they're so short. So then I just let down the next layer of hair um, and just repeat the process. If the hair ever gets stuck and doesn't roll smoothly, you can kind of like clamp and unclamp, like just go like that with the straightener. It's just that when you use like thicker pieces like this at the front, you kind of need to just go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the other side and then I'll talk about how to style the curls. Don't touch them while they're still cooling, just let them look like Shirley Temple for a little bit. So then when you're finally at this stage, your hair's all curled, you want to take some hairspray. I just use the L'Oreal Alnet hairspray. It's something I've used for many, many years. Then I just grab a little teasing brush. You could also use a comb for this, I guess. Firstly, I just kind of go through and sort of brush them out a little bit because I don't want it to look um, as PC as it did. And then you want to go in and just separate off sections and give it a little back comb like that. I do this all the way down both sides of my head and I attempt to do it on the back as well was quite difficult. And when you finish teasing you just want to use your hands to kind of settle everything down a bit because it'll be a wee bit too much. 
I sometimes also put a bit of extra tease here at the front of my hair to get that lift. Then my final step is actually going in with the texturizing spray. So this is the Tony and Guy Matte Texture Dry Shampoo. When I cut my hair this short, I was so excited to get the Orbe Dry Texturizing Shampoo that everyone talks about when they have short hair. That thing is so expensive. Like I went online to buy it and I was like, Ugh, $70 for a spray for a hair product. I couldn't do it. So I went to Priceline and got this one for like $14. Like it's much, much cheaper. It works awesome. So it's basically a dry shampoo, but it's got like a matte sort of texturizing quality to it as well. And for this, I flip my hair upside down and spray it that way so it gets a bit of volume. That's my favorite step because it really gets a lot of sort of messiness back into the look. This side normally sits behind my ear. It's kind of just very softly defined and then the sides where all the really like poofy curls kind of hang out. And that is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it brought a lot of value to you. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. If you did miss my last video, then you can pop over there and watch it now. And don't forget if you want to subscribe as well, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video in a couple of days. Bye!